Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Let's get a reading for you, a love reading specifically, and see what's happening between you and your person. All right, so let's get your energy in this connection. Let's get their energy and let's get the mutual energy here really quick. All right, so what is this person's energy towards you? What is this person's energy towards you right now? This person, the person that you have in mind, what's their energy towards you right now? The octopus. So this person is doing a lot of thinking here. This person is using their senses. Um, the peacock in the reverse. I feel like this person has not been able to assimilate or move on from your connection. Or it's it's very much on their mind, right? It's very much you're sensing, they're thinking, they're yearning. They're maybe trying to communicate with you telepathically here. All right, one more for this person's energy towards Pisces. And then we have the cheetah. So this person wants to come towards you. Okay, this person wants to come towards you. And I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking, um, a lot of keeping up with you. All right. What is your energy towards them? What is your energy towards them? What is your energy towards them? We have the oyster, the whale, and the dragon. So the dragon sees one's true nature right it is the witness consciousness so you're able to see past the fluff you're able to see past the filters okay you are very wise and very deep and very compassionate okay um and you have maybe some hidden secrets some hidden emotions here but you're really not expressing much right you're in this witness consciousness you're able to see this from a very um elevated high view here but this person here there's water energy between you both okay um i feel like there's this like water connection but let's see here what is the mutual energy between you both mutual energy between you both the dolphin wanted to show its face so there's absolutely a lot of fun and playful energy and a lot of um healing giddy energy between you two all right what else what's the mutual energy between you and this person and the otter wanted to come out as well and then we have the crocodile and the spider. All right. So both of you are here kind of sensing each other out, maybe not saying much because both of you are submerged, right? Waiting for the right time or maybe um, gathering your energy for the next moment. But both of you have such playful energy towards each other. Maybe are like figuring out how to build on this connection, right? Maybe this person is figuring out how do I come towards Pisces and actually initiate something or, you know, get to be around them in some way, right? But again, a lot of fun energy, the otter and the dolphin. There's a lot of playful energy here between you both, all right? I want to see here how this person is viewing you. How is this person viewing you at this time, Pisces? How are they viewing you? How are they sensing your energy? How are they sensing your energy, Pisces? How is this person sensing your energy? How's this person sensing your energy? How's this person sensing your energy? Busy bee, Pisces. You are a busy, busy, busy bee, okay? Elk energy. Elk energy is like the father energy, very stable, consistent energy. Um, you know, sometimes the elk can be a little inflated, their ego, but it's because they're just like that damn bomb, okay? They're bomb.com. This person is able to maintain stability through life's like cycles, okay? Busy, you're very focused on, on building and busy. Um, and you're very hyper aware, hyper aware, but in a very graceful way, very, very graceful and aware. And then this person sees you as a master of the mind, okay? Illusions, delusions, the master of the mind, of, of, of really tapping in, right? So this person sees you as someone very agile, okay? And someone that has this mental energy, but also has the practicality um, and is just very productive, maybe. This person views you as very productive and very aware of your surroundings. One more for how this person senses your energy. How does this person sense your energy? Yeah, we have the spider and the deer. So I feel here like this person um, almost senses your energy is like, you know that there's more to unfold between you and them. Like there's something that's about to initiate. The, the deer is like a new mother. It's this nurturing, calm energy. Um, again, very graceful energy. It's almost like you're anticipating 
something being built here between you and them all right so this person sees that you're someone very consistent that continues to work on yourself build your life um you know build and mold your life into a way that is that is good for you right um so again here a lot of energy of practical and building it's like this feminine energy they view you as very feminine and graceful but they also view you as getting to work okay doing the things that need to be done a very intelligent energy very agile all right what does this person think that your energy is towards them what does this person think that your energy is towards them what does this person think that your energy is towards them lizard this wanted to pop out very instinctual energy right very very um again you're very telepathic this person views you as someone that it can sense even the subtle energy dragonfly and eagle okay so again this person sees that you are this very powerful person as in your mental strength right Someone that is very powerful, disciplined, someone that just breaks through challenges, right? You are able to figure out a way around certain things. So someone very agile and someone very um, strong, all right, in, in maneuvering. Someone here that is powerful, okay? But, it, but because of your mind. Hmm. What is this person's next move towards you? Let's see here. What is this person's next move towards you, Pisces? What is this person's next move towards you? What is this person's next move towards you, Pisces? Next move. Next move towards you. What is this person's next move towards you? Four of Wands in the reverse. So maybe there's a lack of stability in this connection at, at, at the moment. Seven of Cups. I feel here like this person could be confused or... Um, or maybe they're coming out of confusion and, and seeing that there isn't stability in this connection and they might want to do something about it. Let's see what else. What is this person's next move towards Pisces? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this person understands that there's a lack of stability, maybe some sort of rift, maybe some sort of stagnation in this connection. And they're coming out of a time of confusion and they're wanting to put in some work into this connection, right? Maybe take some practical action. So let's see here. What is this Eight of Pentacles? What is this Eight of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. Maybe this person might come communicate with you in some way, speak to you, take some sort of action. What is this Ace of Swords? Five of Swords. So this person is, I feel, done self-sabotaging themselves, okay? Okay. This person here maybe, um, you know, wasn't communicating. They were running away from the situation, self-sabotaging the connection here. And maybe, um, you know, the connection was at odds. But I feel here like this person wants to fix this here. They, they want to fix this. What's this person's next move towards Pisces? Empress. Empress, they want something to grow here with you and them. So it's very clear that this person... And again, the mutual energy between you both was the crocodile, this energy of submerged, but very much they're in the octopus energy, sensing, sensing, trying to get to you in some way here, all right? They are absolutely yearning for your energy. What is your advice? What is your advice? Let's get with these first. What is your advice in the connection with this person? What is your advice, Pisces? What is your advice? What is your advice in the connection with this person? What is your advice? Okay. Fool in the reverse. Six of wands in the reverse and the ten of wands. So I feel here. Mm, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let, let's clarify. What is this fool? What is the six of wands? And what is it? Okay. All right. All right, so I feel here, your advice, Pisces, is to muster 
the courage, mas muster the strength. I feel here that maybe something is not getting off the ground because you're not making any de clear decisions. You're not planning. You're not, um, you know, actively seeking that energy in a sense, all right? I feel here that, you know, you would have success if, if you took some sort of action towards this, the chariot, all right? But I feel here because you have a lot of responsibility and a lot going on in your life, you can sometimes show up very stoic or very serious or very intimidating. And that kind of makes this person doubt or maybe makes them think that, you know, you're not open to it. But I feel here that your advice is to get into this manifest your energy. You absolutely have all the resources to get this connection going right but i feel here that your challenge is opening up more okay opening up to this more let's get with these cards what is your advice in the connection with this person what is your advice what is your advice in the connection with this person okay exactly eighth house intimacy Seventh house, house, house of relating, relationships, and empowerment. I feel here that you need to empower yourself when it comes to relationships. Are you being too critical on yourself? Are you saying, hey, that can't happen. This person's not into me, whatever. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to go about my life. Like empower yourself to, to, you know, you are worthy of this connection. You are worthy of this intimacy and this relationship here, all right? So I also want to get with these cards. How does this person view you? And then what's their energy towards you? And we're going to wrap this up. All right, how does this person view Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces at the moment? How's this person viewing Pisces? Cancer and Sagittarius. So this person views you, you know, as both, as, the best of both worlds is what I'm trying to say. They view you as this cancer energy, which is very nurturing, motherly, um, the doula, right? Um, someone that is tender, okay, caring, receptive. And they also view you as someone that is exciting and explorer and adventure, wanderous, okay? So you have both the qualities, almost like this is a feminine and the masculine energy here, okay? So they're viewing you as kind of like the whole package here. What is this person's energy towards you? What is this person's energy towards you? All right, so we have square. There's a challenge, all right? Challenge, Venus, love, Pisces, Mercury, communication, and dreams. So I feel here like this person has a challenge in communicating mercury their love expressing their love to you expressing their sensitive side right expressing the fact that this is a desire of theirs this, a dream of theirs to maybe come towards you but there's this challenge in somehow making that or bringing that forward into the 3d reality right into like making something concrete so both of you are sensing each other both of you want this connection but it's like how 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 do i come towards you and maybe pisces you know even though you're such a nurturing energy when someone is going to come towards you maybe you freeze up or you start to act a little cold okay and a little stoic and that kind of you know if you want to attract love you have to be love open yourself up okay open yourself up all right what's coming up next in this connection and wrap this up what's coming up next in this connection What's coming up next in this connection? Okay. We have, again, square and complexity. So there's absolutely some challenges in this connection here. A Gemini energy, maybe uh, um, communicating or um, collaborating, a challenge collaborating, um, emotions, Okay, so maybe a challenge in expressing the emotions and then the mystery, the numinous, right? So there is an unspoken energy between you guys, but the challenge here is to how to communicate your feelings to each other um, without you guys being awkward or closing off, okay? So that's what's coming up. One more on the advice. Or actually, what is the mutual energy? Mutual energy in this connection. Mutual energy in this connection empowerment and cancer doula 
So I feel that both of you, it comes from empowering, it comes from healing your inner world, right? Um, to be able to, to communicate, to be able to go towards love. So both of you need to empower yourselves and nurture yourselves to be able to nurture this connection, okay? To be able to nurture this connection. So I hope that that was somewhat helpful for you, Pisces. Let me know if it was, and I'll talk to you guys soon.